El Cholo, Mike G, going one-on-one -on -one with the New York Giant, A.J. Summers. The winner of this match, JT, will join Antonio Maestre and the feature presentation, Jay Garland, as we saw in our opening match in the finals of the Impact Zone Wrestling Invitational Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a real, real good match here between these two guys. And Mike G is a more of a uh, stockier guy. Why uh, AJ is a smaller guy, but he's quick. So pace against the quicker guy, against the more of a stockier guy. Yeah, we're looking at strength versus speed in this one. Of course, AJ Summers may be small in stature, but he's big in heart. I want to see him take on the bigger man, El Cholo Mike G, coming to the ring by La Shy Girl, as he is every week here in the Impact Zone. And I think that's a big help to Mike G in this match, too, to have a corner woman right there. Always something you got to watch out for if you're AJ Summers. you got to keep one eye in the corner at all times and make sure she's not interfering in the match. That's the thing with man outside the ring, especially when Bieber lost Vegas. Big collar elbow tie up into an amateur takedown there, going to the front chancery. Just trying to gain the early advantage over his opponent is Mike G. With uh, taking down uh, AJ Summers, he's got to take him down for a while because if you can slow him down, then he will be as quick later on in the match. AJ, AJ Summers reversing out of there with the arm bar through to his own front chancery. Not easy to take AJ Summers down. You may think he's a shorter wrestler, but it also gives him the lowest center of gravity as he smacks the back of the head. Just messing with Mike G, trying to show him that he can do whatever he wants to at any time. Playing with the crowd there a little bit, just trying to get him on his side for this match. I believe a lot of uh, a lot of fans know that these two like each other and have nothing against each other, so we should be very interested to see how this match plays out with their uh, association with each other. That's right, as with all of the semifinal matches, they're really more of an athletic competition than your blood on blood wrestling feud. Really, what the Impact Zone Wrestling Invitational Tournament is all about to see who is the best wrestler when they step in between those ropes. And that also, the winner of that can count to various opportunities. And you're looking at the star of the future, whoever wins wins this tournament there. Big drop kick to the knee by Summers. Got a follow up on his opponent there as he stomps him down. Working over that leg. Exactly, and if you're facing a stronger man, which AJ Summers is, you gotta take that leg out. It makes it harder for him to throw his weight around. Quick cover there, only gets a two count. Mike G still has plenty left in the tank. Still working over that leg, AJ Summers. Trying to establish himself in a position to win the match early. So working over that leg, setting him up for later moves. I think uh, the energy factor definitely has to be with AJ. He's a quicker one, but Mike G can tire out with a couple of minutes in the match. I think that's the energy factor. AJ now locking an ankle lock, just trying to use that leverage, getting over the top. AJ Summers, probably the more well conditioned athlete in this match, although big roll through there by Mike G, sending AJ to the outside. Mike uh, G getting his marbles together, sending AJ outside the ring. They're right favoring that leg, trying to get the blood flow back into the knee. As AJ Summers still taking the power on the outside. Definitely hit the floor hard when he got sent into the ring by Mike G. Crawling back in before he gets countered. Trying to get circulation there, and that doesn't help much either right there. No, big drop kick to the knee does not help your leg feel better. Two count for AJ Summers, can't pick up the victory. He hooks the leg though, it's very better than the leg, especially against Yeah, even though some of these wrestlers are newer to the ring, and impact zone wrestling. Well-trained athletes all across the board. You're gonna see the veterans have shown them a lot of the great moves they need to do, including just simple things like hooking the leg. Give yourself a better advantage when going for the pin. Big forearm shots in the corner there by AJ Summers. Working over the midsection of Mike G, just trying to take away a lot of his energy. Going all the way down from the top rope to the bottom. AJ is like a fiery furry here. A fury right here. Big chop from Mike G. AJ played with the crowd a little bit. Kind of gave Mike G the opportunity to take advantage. Still favoring that leg though is Mike G. He needs to follow up on the man. It's hard to do when they're limping across the ring. Yeah, I think it's going to take a lot to take down this uh, young guy from El Paso, Texas right here. With, uh, AJ going after this uh, spot in the IGW Invitational Tournament. Yeah, both men know what's at stake. A spot in the finals of the Impact Zone Wrestling Invitational Tournament. Of course, you've got El Paso, Texas versus New York City in this match.
Yes. And the graphics are far away. Big chop from AJ Summers there. Trying to wear down his opponent. Really, a lot of AJ Summers' offense started off working on the leg. Now it's just taking the win and the energy out of Mike G so that his submission moves and his pin attempts can be more effective. Stinging uh, chops right there on the chest. Like it's going to hurt, make the chest really red. AJ Summers definitely packs a punch. Now Irish whip by Mike G. Ducks under the clothesline. Big spine buster by Mike G. May have bought himself some time. Did look like he tweaked that knee again, though, yes. JT. I believe that knee is a for the cover. Only a two count for Mike G. Hard to follow up with that leg hurting there. As much, as much trouble as that knee is giving him, he almost got to worry if he wins the match, what kind of condition is he going to be in come January 5th? And is that something that his opponents need to take notice of because you know they're in the back watching this match right now. I'm sure they're watching very closely and intently to see what uh, they can do to outscore the other Sorry, JT. You can let our fans in know a little bit. Of course, JT O'Sullivan came up from Memphis before moved out to Arizona. JT, let us know what kind of preparation goes into a match as important as a tournament final, which these guys are getting ready to go to on the field. Honestly, I think you're watching the guys every move. I think you're watching the ring psychology and how they interact with their opponents. It's very important to see if they're awesome with their strongest. Take, take that strength and turn it into a J.T. O'Sullivan giving you insight like you can only get every week on IZW Impulse. Back to the action. A.J. Summers trying to fight back. Big forearm in the face of Mike G. Sent him staggering all the way across the ring. Mike G. Sent him to the ropes. Big knee to the back. Ouch. But again, Mike G. Not thinking there. Hits him with that hurt knee. Both these men laying it all on the line. They want a spot in those finals. You know how bad these guys want it, despite the way they're wrestling right here. And a big elbow drop by Mike G. Just a two count against AJ Summers. Got to hook that leg, JT. That was a strong hammer right to the shoulder of AJ. Shades of Greg the Hammer Valentine here at the sets in Tempe, Arizona. Very nice. Big forearm in the face. Love right to the face. Like or something. Big clubbing blow right there by Mike G. Hitting him again. Again, the pain in that leg, as well as those shots to take the wind out of Mike G. Still taking his hand. AJ Summers will not back down. AJ fighting this bear hug right here. Big bear hug by Mike G. Trying to wear his opponent down. Get himself some breathing room. Let that knee heal up so he can finish this man off. He's putting that pressure to the lower back, and that's going to be very frustrating because of someone that's a bigger than AJ right here. Putting a lot of pressure on him. He's got to really wear down AJ right here. He's got the second time the arm drops for AJ Summers. This could be it, JT. But no, I know. Nope. still gas in there. He's coming back. The fans are definitely trying to cheer AJ Summers back in on this match. These guys are right here. Big forearm shot by AJ Summers, pushing him off. I think Mike G knew that hold was over and decided to get another shot in by throwing him in the corner. Good way to keep the advantage. A lot of times you see him get out of the bear hug and even take over. Smart move by Mike G. Of course, AJ Summers turning the tide, coming off the second rope with a press. Caught by Mike G. Again, the power game coming into play. Black hole slam there by Mike G. Is AJ Summers, did he turn that into a DDT, JT? Yes, he did. Caught it into a DDT right there. Very uh, observant right there. Uh, AJ Smart move by AJ Summers. Going up top into the lights here at the sets. Frog splash right here. Big froggy right here. Big time frog splash by AJ Summers on Mike G. Does he have him? That's it. It is over. And AJ Summers advancing into the finals of the Impact Zone Wrestling Invitational Tournament against Mike G. He will join Antonio Mastre in the feature presentation, Jay Garland, in the finals of the tournament on January 5th.